what's going on YouTube the Apophis here and welcome back to my channel today's video is another episode of late night chat if you don't know what late night chat is it's when I'm up late one night and I have a lot of shit on my mind and I decided to talk about it so that's not really scripted it's only usually done in one take although I will admit to you that this is the second take because I screwed up on the editing for the video it, it looped on me because I was playing around with the velocity and it's the first time I've ever really played around with velocity on like how fast the video track actually is and stuff like that so anyway totally not the point but that's actually it kind of is the point right there's nothing really scripted for late night chat I kind of just hit the record button and talk and whatever comes to mind comes out so uh, playing some War Thunder man and <laughs> yesterday you guys didn't seem to really like War Thunder but I do so I'm gonna post it this game is fucking got me hooked I was actually really surprised at how many of you um, went and downloaded War Thunder after you saw my video a couple of you guys did make sure I get you guys' usernames man because I wanna get together and maybe play on a little bit of a team I think we could do some damage if we had some kind of coordination that man if you had a full 16 man team on this game you would do some damage definitely um, but I think it's cool that that many of you guys thought it was interesting enough to at least give it a try and those of you that have actually had the chance to play it I know a couple of you are still waiting on a download and all that have said that you are enjoying it as much as I am so that's really cool I think they did an excellent job with this um, most uh, that's hard to say about most free-to-play games so uh, I just need to switch it up guys man Call of Duty is getting incredibly stale for me I put in about one week of playtime and I know that's not gonna sound like a lot to some of you but to me a week is a long time and I just I don't know that's that's a lot of my life wasted in COD and COD for me is, is very very repetitive so it's not holding my attention and I'm not getting I'm not getting the gameplays I need either I have some gameplay on my on my hard drive but it's I don't know it's it's sketchy gameplay I don't know that I want to actually post it it's I don't know I'm not having fun at all with COD right now so I gotta switch it up and right now War Thunder is the game that's that's holding my attention um, I'm gonna go in to land here as you can see I have a damaged wing I found out that if you're damaged all you gotta do is land on your runway you each have like a runway and if you don't have a runway you have a carrier that you can land on um, if you land there's a repair and it automatically repairs you but it takes some time like mine's like 30 seconds but luckily through the magic of video editing I, I got rid of that 30 seconds for you plus you get some XP um, for landing as well as taking off um, also I found out and I, as this happens later in this game I get my fuel tank shot out and I start leaking fuel so I just land randomly on the ground now I get XP for landing safely I still lose my plane I, I, if I was able to get it back to my landing strip and then land it I would still get to use it but since I couldn't I still lose my plane I still lose the ability to use it but I do get XP so that's one I guess tip or trick you can use to maximize your war thunder XP which XP in this game is, is very very meaningful because it's what allows you to unlock better planes so you need XP I mean, I mean you could pay for the premium currency and convert that into XP but at the end of the day it's XP that unlocks the planes not uh, money so I guess depending on how you look at it anyway <clears throat> back on the sorry for that back on the topic of uh, games for me to play the good news is I just pre-ordered Gears yesterday Gears of War Judgment if you don't know comes out on the 19th of this month and I'm a huge Gears of War fan this is a, a good friend of mine I always play Gears of War with and I think we played every Gears of War together except for the first one um, so this is this is really exciting. Uh, I got a really good pre-order deal though, and I kind of want to share that with you guys. <clears throat> Damn, sorry, I want to throw it all froggish. Um, so I was gonna pre-order through GameStop, and I was like, no, let me look at some of the the different options. So I looked at Amazon. Amazon really didn't have anything going on, so I did some searching around. But somebody on Amazon had made a comment like, oh. Amazon will you match what the Microsoft store is doing and I was like oh what's the Microsoft store doing so I went and looked and they're giving away 1600 Microsoft points if you pre-order that's a $20 value which is pretty good for a pre-order 
So essentially, you're only paying like 40 bucks for the game if you really break it down like that. So I was like, huh, I wonder what... And then I... Well, I... Back up. I had heard that Walmart is doing a cool thing. If you haven't played Gears, Walmart might be the place for you. Um, if you pre-order Gears of War Judgment, you get Gears of War 1 for free, as well as your choice of Gears of War 2 or Gears of War 3. So I was going to do that, but when I started like looking up like how much I could sell Gears 1 and Gears 2 or 3 for, it didn't come out to as much as the $20 Microsoft points are worth. So... I went ahead and I ordered through the Microsoft Store, and I might get it the day after release because of their shipping or whatnot, but hell, I'm willing to wait for, like, a, pretty much a $20 instant rebate. So I thought that was really cool. So if you haven't pre-ordered Gears yet, and you're looking to pre-order, and you don't really care about GameStop's pre-order bonus, which their bonus is a couple skins, and you get early access to a game mode, the new multiplayer mode you get like four days early access which i don't know i don't really care about four days early you might though and if you do good for you but i don't um so if that's not something you care about and you'd rather have something a little more tangible like microsoft points i mean hell that could get you a whole another game off of the marketplace or whatnot then uh definitely definitely check out um the microsoft store also, Walmart, guys, if you're in America and you just want, if you haven't had a chance to play one of the Gears games, check that out, too. That's, I thought it was a phenomenal deal. Like, who gives out two whole games for a pre-order? Granted, they're older, but shit, you know? Uh, the other, what else did you, oh, the other reason why I was like, huh, 1,600 max off points is a smart move for me is I bought Halo 4 yesterday. I ordered it, so it's not going to be here till probably next weekend, but... Nonetheless, I can use my Microsoft points I got from pre-ordering Gears to get map packs, map, map packs for Halo. Jesus Christ, I can't talk. So that's my plan for those. God damn, I keep yawning and it's frustrating. It's absolutely frustrating. It's like, oh, you got something to do? <laughs> Fuck you, have a yawn. Oh, you just yawned? Go ahead, yawn again. It's, it's getting on my nerves, absolutely. Um, so... Anyway, I'm not a huge Halo player. I'm really not. I've never played Halo 4 online. And the last Halo I really played online was Halo 3. I played Reach online for like two days and didn't like it for some reason. So I'm hoping that Halo 4 can captivate my attention because as I said, man, COD's stale to me. So I won't be posting Halo gameplay right away, <laughs> obviously, because there's going to be a learning curve. But I'm hoping that it kind of reinvigorates me with games like it gives me new life gives me a new joy of playing games because I, I just have not been having fun <clears throat> playing cod lately and it's not that I, I i thoroughly do like black ops i really truly do i think it's one of if not the best call of duty and sure that's going to be debatable some of you guys are going to hate that statement other you guys are going to agree with it I, I think it's fantastic but got that much time into it and it's not it's only been out for like three months that's too much that's too much for me at least and uh i got i gotta switch it up it's like the only thing i'm playing is call of duty and i just it's boring right now so hopefully halo re-sparks some things i was thinking about getting crisis but i think i might get it for pc instead which is probably what's gonna happen if i do get it but i just i don't know that i'm gonna play crisis online and it's hard for me to justify spending the money it costs for games nowadays, like $60 for a game, if I'm only going to play campaign. Um, Gears is the exception for that for me. Like, Gears is my one game that I, I will always play. Like, they could charge me $150 for a three-hour campaign, and I'm still going to play Gears. There's something about it that I absolutely love. And it probably really stems back to... Gears of War being my first game that I ever owned for the 360. The only game I had to play for like the first two months when I had a 360 was Gears of War. So, I, I, I don't know, there's like this special, special amount of love that I have for Gears. And right there, man, that guy was already going down. That's how his name was Pink. But I still wanted to get some shots on him to get the XP. I was being a little greedy. Uh, I do incredibly well this game. I think I'm like second on the leaderboard. The top guy fucked up some ground targets, man, which was... Okay, so, in yesterday's video, uh, over War Thunder, it showed the game mode domination. This one's called Ground Strike, and the goal 
if, if you look on the bottom left, there's a, a number next to like these little symbols. And that's how many ground units we each have left. And the goal in ground strike is to destroy all the ground units. But my planes aren't really set up to handle ground units yet because the bombers come at like later XP and stuff like that. Although I do have some bombs equipped. Uh, and so I did get some ground targets here, but I let the other guys that are actually flying the bombers take out the ground targets and I'm pretty sure the guy that was first on the leaderboard was flying a bomber but he absolutely destroyed the ground targets so those are like the two game modes there's not really like a TDM one it's just ground attack and domination so this was just the other one these ones tend to last longer if you're playing ground strike or ground attack whatever it's called uh, the games usually last a little longer than, than the domination games do so, I don't know, I like it. Oh, I also found out, I know in yesterday's video that I said you only get three lives. You can buy more slots with XP. So, like, right now I have four planes instead of three planes. Not in this game, but, like, currently when I play it. And I could get a fifth slot. I just don't want to spend the XP right now. So, yeah, that's how you can get more planes. <clears throat> I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait until I get some bombers unlocked. And then I'm going to run, you know, one or two bombers and three fighters. That way, depending on the game type, I can get it done. There's also ground units in the domination game types, so those help you milk XP too. So you should definitely take out the ground units. Plus, a lot of them are like anti aircraft guns, and if you take those out, you're kind of being a team player because they can't shoot down your teammates if you blow them up. Plus, you get XP for them. I know yesterday I dropped one bomb, and I picked up like four kills on a target, and that netted me like, like, 10,000 XP, which is a lot in this game. It's an absolute shit ton in this game. Uh, I'm pretty sure, though, I get the award for taking out the most air units, which is good because, hell, I'm flying a fighter. Um, I still have yet to fly for any of the other countries. I don't know. I'm just... I don't want to give up my... what I call good planes right now. Like, I have one plane that's, like, you have to be rank 4 to get, and one plane that you got to be rank 2 to get. And I just... I don't want to give them up and go back to the default planes, man. The default planes are horrible, and it, it takes you a minute to get used to, uh, or to get some kills with them so that you can move on, and I just, I don't want to go back to it with another country. I'm sure I will eventually. Oh, that's the other thing, too, is replay value. I was going to talk about that with games. Uh, Call of Duty gets boring, right, because it's the same thing, and you could argue that almost every game is the same thing. Like, let's face it. Call of Duty held my attention longer than Gears is going to. Like, Gears of War is going to be fun for me to play through the campaign with my buddy. We'll probably play it through a little bit of multiplayer, but it's not going to hold my attention like Call of Duty does. Like, I'm not going to play Gears of War for a full year unless something crazy goes down. God, I'm yawning again. If something crazy goes down for multiplayer with Gears, then it might be able to swing me. But typically, Gears, I play for like a month or two maybe three tops and that's it like I'm done I don't want to play any more Gears of War it's over it doesn't hold my attention um, War Thunder here you could argue it's the same thing right oh the only two game modes only a couple maps yeah sure that's true but it's really fun but what they did is they gave you four or five different countries that you can fly for and they all have different planes and you have to earn experience for each country independently there's a lot of replay value for this especially for being free to play but just in general like a lot of games don't have this amount of replay value but you could argue that it's still you're doing the same thing over and over and it gets monotonous and I agree but right now this one's holding my attention so I kind of like to to look for games with high replay value because if not I get a little bored um, I was thinking about posting some Far Cry but I have it for PC and the online multiplayer for Far Cry on PC is kind of garbage there's not a lot of people playing so it's really hard to get good connection um, with the other hosts but I do like Far Cry 3 single player. God, the single player campaign is so good. But I don't know if I want to post that. Because when I play single player campaigns in a game like Far Cry, I feel the need to do everything. Like, I can't just play the story and blow through it. Like, it's like a perfectionist type bullshit. Like, or a completionist thing. Like, I have to, you know, set off every radio tower. I have to clear out every enemy in camp. I have to hunt every animal. I have to craft everything. Something about it, man. I just got to do it. So I don't know whether or not to post it, but I think I should definitely get back into playing some Far Cry because I had a lot of fun with that. The other game I'm playing right now is Titan's Quest, but that just, I don't know, it doesn't seem appealing to watch. At least this has some killing and stuff like that to it. So anyway, uh, 
this game's coming to an end. And some of you guys are probably happy about that because it's been 15 minutes of me rambling. But hey, that's what late night chat is. I talk about just whatever I want. If you guys want to drop in the comments below, maybe some game suggestions that you find fun since things are getting stale for me. Um, if we can keep it cheap, I would appreciate it. But I, I really want to hear what you guys might want to watch me play so that uh, we can both win. I get something fresh and you get something you want to watch. Alright guys, there's two videos on the screen you might have missed. Click them. The one on the left is going to take you to the commentator showdown. That's right, baby. We are in round two. The showdown is kicking off. Round two, the episode one, was super funny, guys. I absolutely enjoyed watching the two videos from those guys. Um, the uh, video on the right, it's a mystery, so I can't tell you, but you're going to want to click it because it's going to take you to another video of mine that you might as well enjoy if you enjoyed this one. And thank you all so much for stopping by there's a big yellow subscribe button if this is your first time here you're gonna want to click that because there's videos like this every Saturday as well as cool ass videos every single day oh as always guys follow me on Twitter to find out what's what I'm working on what's going on how to talk to me all that good stuff if you tweet me I get back to you damn near instantly so unless I'm sleeping which is a random thing for me so uh, yeah make sure you guys follow me on Twitter Thank you all so much for stopping by. I, I truly, truly, truly appreciate all the support that I've been getting. Um, if you want to do a big thing to help support me, if you could share one video, just find your favorite video and click share. That would mean a lot to me. Um, and that's the biggest way you could support me is to help get my stuff out there. So I, uh, if you don't, though, and if you just want to keep me all to yourself, hey, I totally get it. And I'm perfectly okay with it. I'm actually just super happy that you yourself are here. And, and believe it or not, that is enough for me. So thank you all so much for stopping by. I hope you all have a super fantastic day. And uh, I don't got nothing funny to end on. My mind is so blank. Jesus Christ. Um hell even a blind squirrel gets a nut once a day or every now and then no see that's stupid i shouldn't end with that um i don't know even a blind guy can tell the time correct right twice a day or no what is it even a dead clock is right twice a day i don't know what it is man ah, i'm screwing it up anyway thanks for stopping by guys talk to you later